afternoon everyone welcome back i've had a couple of weeks off just to recharge the batteries a little bit the inspiration's been a, a little bit low lately uh, we're in that tricky sort of period in the year where we're coming into spring but there isn't really any foliage on the trees at the minute and the hillsides are looking a little bit bare so it's always a bit of a sort of lull for me this time but with conditions looking quite interesting this afternoon with some nice cloud above i've thought let's just get out for a walk and and see what we can find uh, the walk i'm doing i'm on my way up to low fell which is a cracking little viewpoint uh, looking down on buttermere and crummock water i've not actually been up here for about three or four years and uh, i just thought let's get out get a bit of exercise uh, try and get a bit more hill fit for the upcoming uh, fell walking season and uh, see what we can see So I've just been enjoying a, a lovely leisurely stroll up here. It's a beautiful walk up to Low Fell from Thackthwaite, uh, the little village on the Lawton Valley side. And I couldn't help but notice there, just seeing my mate's little cabin that he's building on the top of the hill. He's a bit of an entrepreneur and he's got two or three of these sort of off-grid off luxury accommodations uh, being built, very niche. And I've been meaning to go and have a little look at that thing that he's building, but obviously with things, uh, how they've been lately, it hasn't really been the best time. But just looking across there, I'll put it on the screen here, a little bit of B-roll where he's, where he's building it. He's got a very similar view to the one that I'm going to have from the top of Low Fell here. And it must be absolutely beautiful to wake up to, to that scene from that little cabin there. So I'll give him a little plug if you're interested in that sort of niche off-grid accommodation uh, thing uh, well worth a look his, his website's called Hinterlands and the two that he's got built already or in this area as well are absolutely beautiful I did a bit of photography for him and uh, yeah absolute credit to him I, I wish I had uh, the wherewithal to do that sort of thing but yeah well worth a look little plug uh, yeah you can thank me you can pay me later John I'll tell you what bang for buck in the Lake District there's not many better views than this one here as you come up onto the top of Low Fell looking down across Crummock Water there and then on to the taller fells at the back Great Gable and then Scorfell Pike in the way in the distance can't beat it can't beat it right must crack on let's get to the top Okay, so we're up the top, top of Low Fell. Wonderful view from here, absolutely wonderful. Conditions are not great, I'll be honest with you. It's the cloud that I was talking about earlier that looked pretty interesting. It's thickened up quite considerably. So it's gonna be one of these where I might have to stick it out for quite a while to, to get anything. I mean, there's no guarantee I'll get anything at all here this afternoon. It's, it's one of those days where you sort of chance your arm a little bit and see what you can get but no walk up here is wasted and I was saying earlier about getting hill fit it's amazing if you do you know a couple of months not doing any fell walk and you you really feel it when you come back to it even one of the smaller ones like this one it's only sort of four four hundred and fifty meters but uh yeah <laughs> I was feeling it a little bit before so yeah good to get out and do a bit of exercise I'm gonna have a little look around the sort of summit area here to see if I can find anything the last time I came I managed to find some jagged rocks just on the sort of front of the summit that work quite well but I'm going to try and find something a bit different there is a, a, a lone 
Scots pine on the front of this fell that I might venture down to if it's not too steep. Uh, I think that could work really well if conditions steers the R, which is pretty overcast. I can see that one being quite a good black and white, but I'll have to do a, a little bit of invest investigation to see if I can get down there safely. But uh, yeah, just for the time being, taking in these views and just enjoying a little bit of a relax. Okay, so I've had a bit of a look around there and nothing's really grabbing me. I think I was saying earlier about this time of year where the, the hillsides look a bit sort of parched and a bit lifeless. Uh, we've had a bit of a dry spell lately and there's, you know, the ground's very, very dry. And I think the thing I'm struggling with up there is just everything's looking sort of one shade of brown almost. And coupled with the flat light, that isn't really helping. So I've just come down the fell a little bit, just have a nosy to see if I can see where that scots pine is that i mentioned earlier and it looks like i can get down there all right so i'm going to throw my eggs in one basket and see if i can get a shot down there uh, probably black and white i would say looking at these conditions i should say i've already actually had uh two goes at filming this vlog earlier in the week i went to home fell and the light was really really harsh uh sort of sunrise big low bank of cloud blocked it out and then when the sun got up uh, it was too harsh so that was a bit of a write-off and then the second attempt I went to Stanley Gill in Eskdale only to find that the path up to the waterfalls is completely blocked off for maintenance at the moment so this is the third attempt at filming this so one way or another I'm putting something out here Right, we've made it down to our little Scots pine here. I'll just spin you around so you can see it. Uh, I think what's going to be useful for you lot watching is that because I'm not really under the under the gun here, pressure-wise, I mean, there's no light to speak of, I can talk you through my sort of process here of trying to sort of fit the composition because on arrival and looking at this tree, it's a little bit more awkward than it would perhaps first appear you know it, it does look a very sort of typical plonk your tree in the foreground and there's your big vista shot but there's a couple of considerations firstly crummock water in the distance i'll just zoom in so you can see it i want crummock water so it's not touching the tree so if i just move a little bit to the right you can see that gives a, a little bit of separation there the second thing though which is quite annoying <laughs> I'm sure it's lovely for the people who live next to it, but you can just see that pond in the mid distance there next to the little farmhouse. That's quite a bright spot in this uh, shot and I'm trying to hide it as best I can behind the branches in the tree. If I just zoom back out again. The last thing which I really can't do anything about is Scale Hill Hotel. I'll just zoom in so you can see it there. If you look on the left hand side of the tree that white building there's not a great deal i can do about that i'm not a big one for cloning stuff out of images but a bit of artistic license here i might have to i might have to get rid of that but in terms of the shot itself it's definitely got a lot of potential and certainly one that i'll probably come back to the problem i, I mentioned earlier at this time of the year is because the fell sides are very flat in color and we haven't really got any light to speak of today it's the trees kind of blending into the background a little bit and i don't quite have that separation but if we get a bit of a nice side light later on this afternoon that might help me out a little bit but i think it's going to be one that i'm going to tuck up my sleeve and come back to when there's maybe a bit more foliage on the trees and probably autumn i mean can't go wrong coming down here in autumn so i'm going to stick it out here for a bit see if this light pops out and uh, hopefully I'll get the shot. Right. 
Right, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here because looking out across the fells, clouds are getting thicker and doesn't really present me with much hope for better light. So I'm probably going to tuck this one away as a recce and come back in better conditions. But it's been well worth the walk up here. And uh, if nothing else, it goes towards getting a bit, a bit more hill fit for the season. Uh, a couple of things before I go. Uh, firstly, my newsletter this month. I've got a, a cracking interview in there with Darren Jolie Leach. He's a, a fantastic, mainly woodland photographer from the Midlands. Um, and he does all the work on Bruce Percy's books. So some really fascinating insights into uh, sort of book publishing and that sort of stuff. So well worth a look at that. Uh, but also I'm running a competition. The winner will get an A2 framed print of their image. Uh, second prize will be a framed A3 print. And third prize will be an hour's one-to-one -one tuition with me over Zoom or Skype for your post-processing. It's an open theme. Just submit your best springtime image i'm going to close the entries probably at the end of may so you've got plenty of time to to get a shot in but all the details are in the newsletter i'll put a link in the description for that uh, the second thing i'm sure you're all very familiar with nigel danson's work if you follow landscape photography vlogs uh, nigel's running his world landscape photographer competition that he started last year again this year uh, entries have just opened for that uh, i'm going to be a judge on the panel uh, for that competition so i'd Strongly encourage you to enter it. Some really great prizes and all the proceeds go towards uh, charity. I'm not quite sure what the charity is going to be uh, this year, but uh, so a great cause, well worth a look. And uh, myself alongside uh, some, some excellent photographers will be judging your images. So yeah, well worth a look at that one. Next week, I'm actually going to be in Northumberland. I'm there for four days to do a bit of seascape photography. So the next vlog, I don't know if it'll be next week or the week after, but a uh, bit of a change of scenery for the lakes, but uh, I'm really looking forward to getting over there and reacquainting myself with a place that I haven't been to for a little while. But I'll catch you on the next one. Keep liking and subscribing. Uh, I don't know how this image is going to come out, but I'll, I'll post it up at the end and uh, I'll see you later.